I just got back from hunting figures. Shopping bags, crazy fires, bitches. Food just called, gotta pick up figures. I sell the extras for my case, flip it. Future waves, I will be coughing. Come check with me, you know I got it. Devil's dudes, not a scout with people. Figure arts, Marvel legends. Dudes doing the reviews, fellas. Do keep getting that dinero copy. Even if I got a review and a seller, even got comic shop credit. Lucky, look, I found it. They call me Devil's Do It. Watch the review, yo. You know I got it. It's your boy, Devil's Do. And you know I got it. So subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy, Devil's Do It. Today we're doing another action figure review. Today we're going to be doing Jazz Wiz, NBA Heroes, LeBron James, King James, Cleveland Cavaliers, you go to packaging on the side, got the joint, I don't know why they, he the only figure that looks like this, he doesn't look skin tone, maybe there's a variant, here goes his bio, No, he comes with is the long shot, he look like a robot, I don't know why, here go the wave again, get them all. Get all six. Look at the picture again. NBA Street looking. Man, that's it. Man, this is him right here, man. He looks sick, man. Look at that. Again, I, I don't know why they made him uh, silver, silver tone. Maybe they trying to say he's a machine and he don't really need any equipment. Maybe. I don't know. If you ask me, I'm not going to take anything away from this, man. He is a phenomenal athlete. And, um... He does make a team better, man. I remember in the playoffs recently, uh, I think the last game or the game before last, they were down by, like, I think 30 or 40, and he came back after halftime, and he scored, like, 15 points, 20 points by himself. He cut the, the lead in half, man. That's, that's crazy. On his own, on his own. So God knows what he could do with a, with some young, with a young team around him. Uh, not like Again, I don't. I mean, I'm not a bandwagon, but I won't. I respect the man's game. He ain't the greatest of all time, though. That belongs to Mike. Sorry to say. But um, anyway, let's get into it. Again, they made him silver. Maybe there's a variant out there where he's he's his his brown skin tone. He only comes with the long shot, so we know this shoots false. So I'm not gonna do it. And look at them big ass hands, man. He got some mitts on him. That's what I like, man. These guys. He's the tallest out of the, the group. I believe he's like 6'6". Six, six. LeBron is. Have you seen the bio? Oh, no. He's 6'8". Sorry. 6'8". So, yeah. I like the headband. Got the NBA insignia on there. Let's get the focus going. There we go. It looks like him very much. He's just bald. This looks like LeBron. I think they caught the likeness very good. <clears throat> the best out of all of them, actually. Hinge gold. So there's no paint inconsistencies here. The hinge is black. And because he's silver, there's no there's nothing messed up. And they even painted the the whole shorts burgundy too and the, the gaming cross pins. I didn't even check. Yeah, they did it with Kobe. They didn't do that with Kobe. So yeah, the jersey's nice. He got the retro style. Cleveland Cavaliers, 23 with the silks. It's a nice figure, man. Got the wristbands, the headband. Yeah, man. They they went all out for this guy. Sneaker is very accurate. Sneaker accurate. <clears throat> he doesn't have the detailed treading on the bottom like Kobe Bryant does. But he has something. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. He has that. That looks really nice. This figure is nice, man. Can't complain. This He's definitely a must-have because he's one of the most popular athletes in the world right now. His head goes up a lot. It goes down more than the other guys. He has bulging his shoulders. <clears throat> bulging his shoulders. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. Wrist swivel. And it pivots forward and back. Got the ab crunch. Waist joint. Gaping crotch pits. Mid cut thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. Calf rotation. Cast swivel. His ankle goes back and forward. And got a rocker. Again, 
There's only six guys in the line. But overall, I'm very excited again. Since this is the last figure I'm going to review in this line. Because I didn't get the other ones until I get mellow. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this. On these figures. These figures are a new take. On something that we've never gotten before. I believe Kenner tried. Um, doing something similar to this with the starting lineups, but they only did baseball where they made them look cartoony and they had actions where they could hit, they could hit a ball, something like that. They, I believe they did Mark McGuire and Ken Griffey Jr., but that was back in the day. This is a fresh take on them. They look kind of realistic and cartoonish at the same time. Again, when I look at these guys, I see NBA Streets. And for those of you out there who remember NBA Streets, that was a fun game. It was, it was, it was like street ball. It was street ball. That's all it was. It was fun basketball. And um, I think it was two on two, or three on three, something like that. Like kind of like NBA Jam, also. But I'm very excited for what Jazzwares is doing. These guys step their game up in articulation. Uh, maybe if they did the Mortal Kombat figures. Like they did these, they probably still have the license into it. But that's just the way it is, man. Everything's a learning process when it comes to figures. So um, I'm very, again, I'm very excited. I just wish you guys could have supplied me with the the case breakdown. So I knew my odds of getting at least a Carmelo Anthony. But I reached out to them on Twitter and they told me that it was confidential. And I would have to ask them at Toys R Us and... Uh, I didn't. I mean, I did ask, and they didn't tell me either, which is a shame. Cause um, again, I've I've been a fan of, I've I've like some of the things Jazzers put out. I wasn't big on the Street Fighter stuff, but I must admit that the Mortal Kombat stuff, the later Mortal Kombat stuff, was getting better, and they doing it. They doing a thing with with these now with the NBA heroes. Um, I do recommend them if you're a basketball fan. And you're into figures and into comic books and you want a different take. I do recommend these, man. I think you should pick them up. Um, again, I'm excited for these. I hope these do well. So this way we can get other sport outlets, hopefully. Like maybe, uh, who knows, UFC Heroes, MLB again, NFL, uh, MLS, Major League Soccer. Who knows, man? The, 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 the the things are boundless. The choices are bound endless, man. We could pick anything, anything, anything. But I really do like these. I'm being honest. Um, you guys do take my word for for a lot of things. You say I'm the realist. I do like these. But what I didn't like was how I was treated on Twitter with Jazzwares. You guys, for the most part, uh, you guys get to me when I tweet about y'all or when I talk about you guys. You guys get back. But the fact that you can tell me something as simple as the case ratio and the way the way the conversation was, it was just like you didn't care. Like, oh, buy them anyway. You know what I'm saying? It kind of hurt me. So it's like, you know, I, I'm not going to let that. It's a setback, but I'm not going to let it um, determine whether if I should continue buying your products or not. Because I will. Because, again, I have faith in you guys. And uh, I believe you have what it takes to become a player in this in this game. Because this feeling, like I, like I said, this feeling ain't hard to get in. Um, one thing I forgot to mention was uh, LeBron James has a compression a compression sleeve sculpted on his arm, and they didn't color it. So that kind of that was kind of dumb. They should at least did it black or something, or maybe even burgundy. Uh, I forgot to mention that. But again, uh. I do appreciate Jazzwares for responding at least. Some of these companies don't even do that. And um thank you for, thank you for getting back to me even though you couldn't give me the 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 news I wanted or the information I really needed because again, I'm from New York and I'm ashamed for the simple fact that I have nobody here who plays on the Knicks. I have somebody who who attracts bandwagon people. Nobody's faithful. As somebody who uh, nobody likes to really cheer for because he's injury prone. And I got somebody that people like and people don't like. 
and I don't have some the the person who represents my hometown where I come from. So I'm gonna have to look online, or again, if I ever get the chance, I gotta go to the other three Toys R Us around me because I went to the one on 161st Street. So now I gotta check. I think the one in 117. I'm not sure if it's, there was one there. Times Square, and I gotta check the one by Castle Hill, uptown. And my dad, my dad don't let me drive the car like that. So I got to get around. I got to figure it out. So anyway, that's the review. I recommend you pick these up, especially if you're a sports fan. And you want something that you can play with. And they're not statuesque like the McFarlane stuff. And they kind of hold the likeness to who they're modeled after. So again, I do recommend these guys. I like them. And I hope you do too when you pick them up. Check these bad boys out. They're built very decently. And that's my review, man. You already know. It's your boy Devil's Dude. If you're feeling it, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow my Instagram and Twitter. Like my Facebook page. All the links are in the description below. If you want to send me anything, uh, letters, artwork, anything, my PO box is in the description below also. And just get out of me in general, people. It's your boy Devil's Dude. And I'm out. Foul, ref, foul. He got the call again.